you. Um, and today, we're going to be talking about Yosuka no Shora. <sighs> well, I thought I'd pick a fun one to do as the beginning, right? This is just a fun uh, anime, and by that I mean it's absolutely atrocious, so I get to make fun of it. So uh, let's just let's just start with the plot. The plot is it's kind of based on a dating sim, right? It's it's got what happens is the opening episode they set everything up, and then the second episode breaks off into two branches. The second, third, and fourth episode follow one branch. The second, fifth, and sixth episode follow another branch, and then in the seventh episode that sets up the. 7th, 8th, and ninth episode to go down at one branch, and then the 7th, 10th, 11th, and 12th episode to go down another arc. So you basically get the full dating sim experience as this guy wins over four girls, um, and then you go back in time, and you re-see how basically he does this. Um, so we get these, we get these four different story branches, right? And the entire plot is how he gets with them and ultimately gets the ending that, you know, you would look for during a dating sim. <sighs> but uh, let's just say it's not without fuck tons of drama and an overabundant overabundance of stupidity. So let's just let's just move on now. So the characters of this show, let's take a look. First off, we've got Haruka Kusugano. Haruka Kusugano. Sorry I stuttered there for a minute, but <sighs> that's our main character. He is the man. He's the one that's going to win everybody over. But uh, let's just say Haruka's parents passed away, and him and his twin sister Sora uh, have moved to basically their home city, and they live by themselves based on what money that their parents had left. Um, they were originally going to move in with their grandparents, but they decided that they wanted to live on their own rather than be monit uh, monitored by their grandparents. Uh, well, he, he seems like a nice and honest person that uh, you could trust and that uh, can easily win over the women in this story, especially knowing the fact that he has known pretty much all of them since he was a kid. Pretty much. Um, so, <sighs> what what what's really interesting is that he comes off of, as this nice person who look, who seems kind of naive, but at the end of, I believe, three of the four routes, he ends up banging the chicks. So, uh, <sighs> oh my god, man. Um, then we then we proceed on to the four love interests that he pursues. The very first love interest is Kazuha Miki, Migiwa, Migiwa, Kazuha Migiwa, who is kind of this rich chick, um, sharp-minded, very independent. Her parents are always, you know, on the road. She's, she's super rich because of what they do. Um, and so she's had to live relatively by herself. She's gained a lot of independence. And, uh, She's been friends with Haruka and this other girl named Akira, which we'll get to in a minute, uh, since they were really little, and uh, basically Kazuha developed a crush on Haruka and, and uh, from when they were little, and it kind of develops once again when he returns to their old village. Um, nothing really too special. She's kind of the generic character. Like All of these are kind of generic stereotype character development um, as she's kind of that typical rich person whose parents never come home, so she's always lonely, and she wants to, and she kind of builds her independence because they're never around type of bullshit. Then we introduce Akira. Now, Akira is, uh, kind of this really innocent but hyperactive character, um, but she's also got that mature and emotional side that she never shows anyone kind of another generic stereotype character that you see everywhere. Uh, they do it a little bit differently in this show because this show is fucking strange. But uh, that's the second arc. And then the third arc, we go with Now You're Hime. 
and now is kind of really adult-like and mature, at least from what you would seem. She's independent. She uh, is very mature in the way she speaks and acts. Um, and she, she comes across as an adult. She's older than the other characters in the show by a year. So there she's their senpai, you know, character. But, uh, when, when Haruka and Sora first moved away, uh, now was their friend and she, uh, was really depressed and secluded herself away for a while after the two of them left. And, she has this guilt, this guilt trip about how she treated Haruka when they were kids, um, which we'll get to when we go to the actual synopsis of the entire show. Uh, and then, of course, the last one, because you can't have a harem anime without some incest. Haru, uh, Haruka's sister, her, his twin sister, Sora. Kusagano. She's quiet, shy, and has this huge brother complex. She constantly just hates how every girl is getting close to him. You can constantly th see it throughout the entire show, even the arcs that she's not mainly a part of. And she she just doesn't care about other people besides her brother. And <sighs> she's kind of a bitch, to be honest. Like, she's not a character that is very likable at all and personally it just makes this all the more harder to to root for her when the entire anime you could just hear her nagging in the background about how her brother needs to pay more attention to her so that that's that's that part and it's we move on to the actual summary of the entire show here um so, so basically, at the beginning, they move back to their show, their their old fucking town, this little town with a handful of people in it. And Haruka begins going to school. He meets people that new people and people that you know he had known before he moved away with his parents. And Sora eventually begins feeling left out, so she decides to come to to school herself after moping and groaning and all that stuff. <sighs> But before she actually decides this, she goes to tell her brother about that, that she's thinking about coming back to school. And she does it without any clothes on and climbing into his bed. Just like any normal sister would do, right? Oh my god. So, and let me let me just clear something up. I did not choose this knowing any of this stuff was going to happen. I chose it because the plot of it actually being related to a dating sim caught my attention. I didn't know almost any of this. And I have a rule. I have a rule. Any anime I start, I finish unless it's more than about 60 or 70 episodes in length. Um, so I finished every single anime series that is about 60 or 70 anime uh, episodes in length or less. Um, at least one season. There is a show that I did not watch the second season for, nor will I ever do that. We'll, we'll, we'll get a review on that one someday. That'll be a, a killer because that one was also absolutely horrendous. But moving on now. So, you know, just like any normal sister, when you go and make important decisions, you show up naked to your brother's bed. So, we start getting everything going to shit now as uh, Sora finally comes to school and uh, we get some plot convenience as all we have a mixed gym class as two, um, two of the uh, classes come together for, for a gym class to clean the pool because they need a way to get Akira and Kazuha together to, to start these next two arcs. And so, uh, basically, Akira and Kazuha mess around, and one of them gets wet, and they go back to the girls' locker room. And Kazuha, again, by co plot convenience, walks right by the women's locker room as they reveal that Akira and Kazuha are siblings. Um, which, then we move on to basically the Kazuha arc. We'll come back to that exact scene once we get to the Akira arc. Um, so, in the Kazuha arc... It is revealed that Akira was born from a different mother and their half-sisters, basically. They, they, they both share a father. 
And because Kazuha's father is super rich and, and famous and what have you, they have to obviously, what any normal parent would do, is they'd ship their kid to live with their mother and make sure that they're never heard from so that, you know, they, they don't suffer any consequences for their stupidity. Um, so then... <sighs> She, she's really hard on herself because it's she feels like it's her fault and she's she's the one that gets to live with the father and all that good shit. And Haruka, the main character, decides to invite Kazuha on a date. And, I mean, just because, you know, what every normal person would do when there's this bitch complaining about how she sucks at life, you, you invite her out on a date to lift her spirits. And... Uh, towards the end of their date, Akira's maid, because, you know, she's got a fucking maid. Which, by the way, in the game, uh, Haruka also conquers the maid. Because, you know, you, you just can't have enough. Um, but Akira ha has collapsed, and by the way, the way she collapses is fucking stupid. But uh, then, you know, Akira and Kazuha end up making up uh, because, you know... She feels responsible, and Akira's just like, no, you shouldn't real feel responsible, yada, yada, yada. And basically, what any normal person would do is when they're feeling happy about making up with one of their good friends slash half-sibling, you have sex with the guy that you like. So that's what happens at the end of the episode. Though, though they don't actually show that part. You just have to get the inference that this is going on. <sighs> because, you know, you, you, can't, you can't show show it being hentai so that's what happens with the kazuha arc and if you want to continue this outstanding anime of just a plus quality uh tune into the second half of this absolutely amazing anime review because it's going to be terrific absolutely amazing <laughs>